Hi guys, so I'm back with my loft haul. By now you've probably seen Mindy's loft haul, and yes, we've been loft crazy. Um, but they've had 40% off recently. Um, we are both card holders, so we have extra discounts that come our way. If you're a card holder, you'll get the same things. Um, and we've had some extra little discounts here and there, which have been fabulous. Um, look at this. It's huge. It's huge. Um, but yeah, we just decided to stock up on some stuff. Um, and I really did stock up on some fall stuff. Recently, I went back through my closet and I cleaned out a whole lot of stuff, some of which... I need to take by Goodwill and donate, some of which I might try to consign, slash take it to Goodwill, whatever they don't want, but it feels good to get rid of some stuff that you've hung on to because it fits, but you don't really like it, or you like it, but it doesn't fit, it's not as flattering, so I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, and now I'm adding stuff back in. Now, I did get a couple of pieces in here that I wanted to bring home and try on that I might end up taking back because... To me, I try stuff on in the dressing room, but I really do, and I know it's a pain. It is a pain to take stuff back after you've come home. But sometimes in the light of your own home, and you're not in the fluorescent lighting of a fitting room, I like to come here and try it on. I like to try it on with my shoes and see how things feel. So there are a handful of things that might end up going back, but the bulk of it I think I'm happy with and I'm going to keep. So I'm going to try to get through this relatively fast. Um... I did want to share with you two things that I had gotten, not in this last trip, but the accessories at Loft recently have been insane. If you saw any pictures on Instagram, um, when we were out for my birthday, I was wearing this giant bib purple necklace with gold. I love it. Now, like I said, I didn't get this on this trip, but I got it in between our last Loft haul and this one. They were having um, a sale on some of the accessories, and their accessories are a little bit expensive. So when they have a little bit of a sale, I'm like, okay, I'm, I can, I'll, I'll swing that. That's gorgeous. And then this bib necklace that is navy with, oh my gosh, swinging it around like it's navy and gold and turquoise. Look at this thing. Look at that. I wore this the other day with a turquoise, um, with a coral shirt, and I just love it. Necklaces like this can just dress up a plain outfit. I was wearing jeans and a plain coral top and I had that on and I thought it was just it was just what you needed to not look plain. Anyway. So I needed to get a couple of cardigans because cardigans were a main thing. I used to buy all my cardigans at Target and I still do get some cardigans at Target. But after you've had them for a while and you wear them, they pill a lot and they just start looking their age because I mean I got them, I wear the mess out of them. Our, our work is very cold, so I am always in some type of wrap or <laughs> cardigan or whatever. Even when it's 100 degrees outside, I have to have a cardigan or something. And I don't like to spend a lot of money on them. I mean, that's why I go to Target. But when you have 40% off plus a little extra, getting some cardigans from Loft is not a bad, not a bad idea. Um, just plain black button down. And I got rid of a couple. So I needed to replace it, but I didn't have time to try these on. I tried a medium on, and the medium was really big, like under my arms. So I don't know if a small is going to be perfect, or am I in... Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I need to try that on with an outfit to make sure it's going to work. And speaking of that, I did get two more cardigans. This is a coral orange color that's beautiful. Um, like I said, I'm going to try those on. So just want to make sure they fit because if I'm spending money I want to make sure they fit and they look good and then I got a burgundy so I'm excited because we're having a lot more dress-up days at work and a lot of the clothing that you see that I haul always tends to be very ultra casual jeans tank tops stuff like that and with a lot of these uh, business casual days and work appropriate days I just need to um, yeah, I need to make sure I'm following those rules and that I look a little more professional. And Loft is a place where I can do that and I can also get super cute things to wear out to happy hour or around town. So anyway, I'm trying to explain why I bought so much, basically. This is a little, like, deep purple, just short sleeve top. It's got a little button detail right here. Be super cute um, with jeans and a fun, a fun, uh... I can't talk, a fun necklace, or even under like a cardigan with some dress pants for work. I feel like I, I got a lot of 
pieces that can be that could go either way. Um, this is when you see the psychotic side of me where I buy multiples of the same thing. I tried this little sweatshirt on. I am sweatshirt addicted. I love it. In fact, before I filmed this video, I had a hoodie on and I was like, I'm not going to take my hoodie off and put on like a regular shirt. But this is a little sweatshirt. It is lace in the front. It has a little zipper detail on the back. And it's like the sweatshirt material in the back. It's super comfortable, super cute. Now the weird thing is that the back, like you can't see through the back. But the front, you can. So I tried this on already with a black tank top and it looks really cute. I'm going to keep that. That is something that I could wear to work with a tank top underneath it. I think that'd be fine for not a business casual day, just for a regular day. And the psychotic part is that I got two of them. And this is like a blushy rose color. Like, I love it. Super cute. I'm thinking like a cream tank top underneath of it or maybe even like a charcoal gray. Um, but I love this color. So I got two of them. And once I try them on, we'll try this one. I tried the black one on. Once I try this one on, I will definitely make sure that I love it to keep it. Okay, here's the thing. Curvy cut jeans. Thank you, Loft. Thank you. I really appreciate it because you guys saw me haul regular denim. Now I got some black denim. These are the skinny leg. What are these? Curvy skinnies is what I have here. Well, they're black, so you're not going to be able to really see that. Love it. The black jeans I currently have are from Old Navy. I wear the mess out of them and I need to get a new pair. So with all the discounts that I got off those jeans, I basically got them for the price of a pair at Old Navy, so I was really happy about that. And then this is a gorgeous, like, garnet color. <sighs> Thank you again for the curvy skinnies and colored denim. Now, okay, if you wear the just regular skinnies, they had them in every kind of color you could have wanted. Um, gray, purple, army green, they didn't have that in curvy, but I think they're slowly getting there. They need to work on it. Now, this is a pair that I wanted to come home and try on to make sure that I like. They are curvy cut skinnies in gray polka dot. Like I said before, I never thought that I was the type to like a polka dot. No, I didn't. I, I just I just didn't. And now I need to try these on because in my mind I have I want to wear these with like my little black combat boots. I don't know what kind of top and maybe like a black, like a faux leather jacket to take the polka dot and edge it out a little bit. But I just wanted to make sure that I was comfortable because while it's denim, it feels like pants, you know? So I wanted to make sure that these actually looked really good on my backside before I, you know, before I keep them. And <laughs> again with the polka dots, what's wrong with me? Baby pink and black polka dot shirt. I thought this would be a good layering piece. It's so, so soft. I love man cut shirts. This is kind of like, a woman's version of a man cut shirt. It's got the pockets um, buttoned up. It is darted in the back, so it goes in instead of hanging straight. I've been obsessed. I like, like right now I'm wearing um, ripped up denim and I think that that would be even cute with that. Now I wouldn't wear ripped up denim to work, but um, when I was younger, I was so obsessed with like a man's uh, button down shirts that my mom would take me to JC Penney's and I'd go to the little boy section and get the white Oxfords, white and blue Oxfords and I would wear them to death. I love them. So my obsession with that started when I was like 10. And then I got a couple of other tops. These are things that are fabulous that I could wear with jeans and wear them to work. And it's just a little, what is this? Like peach and black, peach and black top, little cap sleeve, little bit of um, pleating right there. So it makes it a little more, you know, a little more business. But then girly and fun and, like I said, wear it to work, wear it out. I love it. Wear it every day. It doesn't matter. And then this was a little more for my dress-up days at work. Um, heck, you could even keep the... I did say heck just then, didn't I? You could even wear this for like a holiday party in the fall and winter. Um, it is a wine-colored, like, satin shirt. It's got a little ruffle uh, sleeve right there. It's so pretty. Pleats in the front. It'll be gorgeous with a jacket, um, my black pants, some heels, some pretty jewels. Um, this is definitely going to come in handy with those dress-up days at work. 
And then I just got another pair of the black pants in the Julie straight curvy through the hip fit. Um, identical to what I hauled before because I've already worn those a bunch and when one pair's at the cleaners, you have to have another pair. So that's it. I feel like I got some really key pieces for fall and winter, a lot of key pieces for work, which like I said, I needed that so badly and I replaced a lot. And my husband told me recently, if you keep bringing stuff in, you really should go through your closet and make sure you pull some stuff out. And I'm like, he's sitting over there. He's not paying attention to me. Um, and I'm like, I know. Secretly, I was like, he's right. But I want to make him think that I'm totally offended. <laughs> he was right. That actually sparked me to get in my closet. And like I said, pull out two giant bags of stuff. And I think I need to keep doing it. I think I need to go back through, pull out a few more things, and really be happy with what's in my closet. And sometimes that requires spending a little bit now so that you have some key pieces that you don't have to worry about. Like right now with jeans, I'm good. Black pants, I'm good. If all these cardigans work, I feel so happy about my new work wear. I'm such a big girl now, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I'm rambling. That's what happens when I haven't done a video in a while. Um, thanks for watching all of our hauls. And like I said, September won't be as haul-tastic as August has been. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support always. And we will see you soon. Bye.